What's up, everybody? I just wanted to get on here real quick and just, uh, you know, just share a word with you um, that I was reading this morning. Um, you know, it definitely encouraged me. Um, so basically, this last week, week and a half, um, somebody that I, a long time ago, in about like 2016, I baptized her, kind of considered her like my daughter. And then um, her and I, we just, we fell off, we fell apart. And recently, um, we've actually been friends on Facebook again, which is awesome, and we're at least talking. Uh, one thing she said to me, I sent her a song by Trip Lee. She used to love Trip Lee. And I was like, yeah, he's back, you know? And she's like, well, I'm not really a Christian anymore. And I was like, okay. And honestly, that, that hurt. I was like, cool. And I'm thinking in my head, were you ever a Christian? Were you, you just acting but then I, th I sat there and i thought about it and i'm like that's between her and god it, it, it the thing is when we baptize people or we are preaching to people or whatever we're doing the work but it's really up to them it's between them and god if they actually you know truly believe that and that's not on us and that's the one thing i had to remind myself and also i had to remind myself because i was angry i was like really i'm like I look at a lot of the kids in this generation, and it's no offense to them. I love them to death, but they just, they, they break up all the time. They just get together and just sleep together. They maybe stay together for two years is the max and whatever, and then things get too hard. They just split, and then they, they sit there and they wonder why, you know, they're in so much pain and agony, you know, spiritually and mentally, and then it, and it just goes on, you know? And sometimes it could be really frustrating because I'm like, dude, just, just look. Just look at the Bible. It's right there. But we can see that, you know, because we have been redeemed. We've been saved. And God's really been working on my heart with that. With showing people a little bit more grace. And not really getting, you know, too puffed up. Because I know all this stuff. I know the truth. But other people really don't. And then I looked back at some of the times of Burgers and Bibles. And I did. I, I read it out of the Bible. I spoke the truth of the gospel. But I don't feel like I really discipled them. In fact, I didn't. Not the way I really believe that Jesus would want me to. And so with that, you know, as I move forward, I want to be able to really teach people what's in the Bible. And maybe they have a better understanding about who Jesus is and what being a Christian really is. And, you know, the word Christian is just thrown around too much these days. But anyways, I'm going to read Titus 3. And, um, yeah. And it says, Remind them to be submissive uh, to rulers and authorities, to be obedient. <clears throat> oh, I'm sorry. To be obedient and be ready for every good work. To speak evil of no one. To avoid quarreling. To be gentle. To show perfect courtesy towards all people. For we ourselves were once foolish and disobedient, led astray, slaves to various passions and pleasures passing our days in malice and envy, hating others and being hated by one another. Um, but when the goodness and the loving kindness of the God our Savior appeared, he saved us not because of the works we had done in righteousness, but according to his own mercy, by the washing and the regeneration and the renewal of the Holy Spirit, whom he poured out on us richly through Christ Jesus our Savior. So that being justified by his grace, we may become heirs according to the hope of the eternal life. The saying is trustworthy, and I want you to insist on these things so that those who have believed in God may be careful to devote themselves to good works. These things are excellent and profitable for all people, but avoid foolish controversies, genealogies, dissensions, quarrels about the law, for they are unprofitable and worthless. As for a person who stirs up division after warning them twice, after warning them once, then twice, have nothing more to do with them, knowing that such person is wrapped 
is warped and sinful, and he is self-condemned. I feel like if churches actually read the Bible, not all, but I mean, read through Titus. Nobody's ever read through Titus in my church. Actually read through the whole gospel. It says it right here. So like I said in my last video, when my friend, when he took his life, he didn't think anybody cared. Because all I see, and I guarantee all he ever saw, was fighting between the church. And then judgment on him. Because he struggled with addiction. He had big hoop earrings. He was in and out of jail. And it says it right here because this isn't the only time that Paul says that. In Corinthians. He said over and over and over and over again, stop fighting. Stop fighting over the law. Stop being stupid. There's people that are going to hell. You're wasting your time. You only get one shot on this earth. One shot. We're going to have an eternity to enjoy, to laugh, to, to be with Jesus. To be with our loved ones. To be free. So why not make the most of it now? That's not to earn points to get to heaven. Just get out there and make the most of it, dude. Because we don't have much time. Life just flies by. There was something that my friend said to me. We weren't on speaking terms. And he said something to me that really struck me. And I'm not really ready to share it, but I'm going to share that at some point. And it ripped, it ripped my heart. And now he's dead. I decided at that point that I'm going to do my best to not, not let any of these little ones stumble. Because we know what that, what the Bible says about that. But there's forgiveness and God is good. Even when we don't deserve it. I'm going to tell you right now, you don't, you don't want to hurt somebody and them to see Christianity as just this horrible thing. And then they die. And you had the opportunity to show them something different. So moving forward. I'm really, I'm really going to take that seriously. You just, you don't want that on your mind and your conscience. Like I said, Lord's good, forgives. I'm not going to let this video get too long. Apologize. <laughs> so, y'all have a good day. Be blessed. Um, I got a lot going on with my own life. I'm really trying to work a lot of overtime, save some money. Um, just pray for me. I'm kind of like learning. I'm getting married next year and things are progressing forward. And maybe you could drop in the comments. I mean, I don't really know. I've been doing my ministry for so long, but... If I'm getting married, my wife and my family is my primary ministry. And that's why I've been putting B&B &B on hold. Because she may not be my wife now, but she's going to be. And we need to make a plan for a future. And I need to be able to provide for her. And if we have kids, to do that too. That's more important than anything, honestly. But I think I got some things figured out where I can do burgers and bibles too but let me know what you think you think that's um 
as a godly man, do you think that's kind of the right move? You know, I mean, when I was single, it was whatever. Burgers and Bibles all day, baby, you know. Um, but now it's like the my everything shifted. It's not like it's going away, but my priorities have changed. So, so let me know if that's kind of the right mind frame I should be in. And um, if, yeah, I don't know. Anyways, I'm done. I'm going to go get ready for work. <laughs> Love you guys. Be blessed. Jesus is good.